We're in such financial trouble in the long term that we have three choices of raising taxes, cutting government spending, or growing. And growth comes from innovation. And Americans are good at innovation. We're good because we're an immigrant society. We're a mosaic of different cultures. We have questioning attitude. We have a First Amendment, which encourages challenging the status quo. Uh, and we reward entrepreneurs. They're, they're heroes. They make a lot of money. They benefit. We don't tax them heavily the way other countries do. So we have all the right ingredients here. It's a matter of the government staying out of the way and doing things right and um, encouraging entrepreneurship and innovation. I think there's a growing national consensus by the Republicans and the Democrats that innovation is who we are as a country. It was the focal point of President Obama's State of the Union address this year. Uh, the Republicans embraced it, the Democrats embraced it, and innovation is, is important to growth and people recognize it. So what's the strategy? Well, the strategy is get the brightest people here from around the world, get our PhDs, that are hard science trained and let them stay in the United States rather than send them back to other countries to compete with us. Um, focus on free trade, wireless broadband, make sure we could communicate with full motion video, we're so good at that, and also solve the financial problems for the future. So you can invest in universities and things that are important. Europe and the U.S. are incredible partners on so many different levels, whether it's culturally, historically, similar philosophies. You know, Europe might be a little bit more, let's share the wealth than the US, U.S. has been traditionally, but the relationship militarily and historically and even to the future is so important. But it's even, you know, Poland is one of our closest allies by far. Poland is important not only militarily, but commercially, growing. A huge importance. It's getting ratings as the best place to do business in Europe. It's certainly the hub of Eastern Europe for business. Uh, Poland has a phenomenal future. I am very biased. My wife and her parents are, are from Poland. My son speaks fluent Polish. Uh, I'm trying to learn a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm just not that good at it. I think you have to define innovation first. I mean, I define innovation as doing something different that people will pay for. There are segments of Europe, like France and Italy, that are phenomenally innovative in, in, in the sensual arts of fashion and food and things like that. Uh, Poland, to me, is an innovator, and, and its strength is also in the fact that it's very commercially oriented, it's entrepreneurial oriented, has a phenomenal educational system on so many different levels. I mean, school is rigorous. People in Poland are very educated and they're very good. I, I, on a greater scale than, than most of the great well overwhelming number of other countries. So every country has different strengths. Uh, innovation can't be just defined as, as, as by Apple. There's biotechnology, there's manufacturing processes, there's, there's service, there's, there's just the banking, there's commercial ways of innovation. So there's a lot out there. The innovation pie is very big and it's not a pie which you each take a piece out of. It grows. It grows and it grows, and that's the, the great thing about innovation is that as the pie grows or as the ocean raises, all ships rise as well.